Hey folks, today we're going to be talking about Bookmap and why you need to start using this tool to understand the market. According to their website, Bookmap is a cutting edge trading platform that lets you visualize market liquidity and gain insight into their order books. Now what this means for me as a trader is that you get to see other traders, where they're putting their price levels and how much money they're going to be putting up. This shows you significant support or resistance at those levels and from there you can start doing things that we'll talk about in a little bit. Now first, I want to talk about the different ways you can get Bookmap. And the first way is to simply go to bookmap.com, get their tool, and it's a separate software. You can also have it integrated into Thinkorswim, which is what I have here. So let's start with that. And you can get this for absolutely free from Thinkorswim. You don't have to pay a dime to get started. You can then subscribe for a little bit more. It's, I believe, yeah, it's $49 or $39.99, $40 a month if you want everything. So how to get Bookmap? As I mentioned, you can get it all within Thinkorswim, and best yet, you can get it for free. So here you can see that I have Bookmap integrated into our charts. You can reach out to the support team. They're not open right now, but if you just ask them, hey, can I get Bookmap? I would like to try it out and get the trial. You're able to get three tickers, which I'll show you in just a little bit for free, and you should be able to get that within the next business day. As I mentioned before, you see that it automatically gets integrated into the chart tab up here and within there it's next to your product depth here i'm going to open up a new thinkorswim as you can see here you'll have several tickers that you can choose from that are free and the ones that uh, i usually use is the e-mini s p 500 index futures if you want more you'll have to subscribe and as i mentioned earlier that's 39.99 a month um, it's a great product, but of course, you probably want to try that out first. Give it a feel, see how it goes. Use this uh, video as a starter for you and then try it out. And if you really like it, go ahead and you know go into the full thing. There are some extra features that you can look at from their website that you get with that full trial. So this is the general view that you'll see when you start looking at Bookmap. The first thing is the top bar. And here you can configure things. You can either move or drag or zoom in to certain areas. You can also move the colors around and change the size of the volume dots. I'll have them at a little bigger of a size just because I have a bigger screen here. And you can do other things here such as having time slices, changing your crosshairs, drawing tools, and even configuring different parts. So if you don't like the heat map or if you don't use it as much, you can get rid of that. But I like everything that it has here as a default, and I even like the default color. Um, maybe I'm just used to it, but you know, for someone new, it might be good to change something that you know looks best to you or something that makes the most sense to you. From there, you can also configure the right side, the ass, so you can get more granular by scrolling, by dragging up and down. You can also change the timeline here, and doing that by scrolling in and zooming in with your mouse now the chart has a couple of things that you'll notice immediately and it'll probably take some time for you to review and get used to them but i'm going to point out just the main ones that you should at least know and be aware of the first is the bubbles here right these big bubbles which are the volume dots along the bid and ask price and what this really tells you is how much volume is being bought or sold at that price point the bigger the bubble bigger volume you can also see there's different colors lining the background of the chart, and that's the heat map. And this gives you an idea of where other players in the market are setting their sells and buys. The deeper the red, the more participants there are at this price point. Once again, for different color schemes, it might look a little bit different. In this one, the redder it is, you know, we, we saw that there's more essentially sellers. Um, excuse me, in this case, it'll be buyers at this price point at 4533. Finally, the bottom part of this chart is the CBD or the cumulative volume delta. This shows overall what the market is like from a volume perspective. Are there more buy volumes today or are there more sell? Today we see that it's a really red in the sell market, um, so negative 30,000. And that just means that there's been a lot of selling. And you can sort of see, you know, just looking at the graph, how we've tested levels and we've just broken through um, some support and these, you know, some pretty big support, I would say, as we we're going down today. So now that we got the basics down, I really want to talk about, you know, 
what you want to do, things that you could do, and how I would use Bookmap and how I do use Bookmap today. The first thing that I do is really look at the volume and um, even before the volume is the heat map. Where are buyers or sellers setting up? And that gives me a good idea of where there is significant resistance or support, right? And that just gives you an idea of, hey, maybe we're going more, you know, not necessarily the market will be going down or will be going up, but that there is a greater chance or that people are anticipating an opportunity to buy at a lower level or to sell at a higher level. That's it. So in this case, let's go and look right here. Right here, we noticed that as we were going up, we have these resist or these buying levels. So yeah, resistance up here. And as we're going up, they got knocked out, right? They were bought up. The resistance was no more. There's no more buyers there, but it kept going up, right? Because there was more buyers up ahead. And that sort of gives you an idea of, hey, maybe, you know, these buyers coming up when we are breaking through these resistances is a sign of more bullish factors in the market. Another way to look at this, you can take the same approach in the downside. If there's a big red bar, such as this one right here at 4533, you'll notice that there's possibly two things happening, right? Either this is a support level, a big support level, which as we can tell throughout the day that it was, it bounced off maybe two, three times before it finally broke through. So you can play both ways where you could look at this and say, hey, maybe I will consider a long position um, knowing that there's a lot of buyers here. Or if you're feeling bearish, you might say, hey, if this breaks through, I'm going to consider a short position because I know that this level is big. And if it breaks through, there isn't really a lot of people underneath. There isn't really a lot of buyers underneath that. So that's a good way of both using the heat map and using, um, you know, general view of where the buyers are to understand where the market could pivot as well as where it could continue that momentum either forward, up or down. I mentioned that there's these bubbles here and these bubbles give you a tell of, for me at least, how bullish or how bearish you know it is at that point in time. So seeing these bubbles come through gives you an indication of, oh wow, there's a lot of sellers. And as they increase, you'll notice um, that it means there is more sellers and that the sellers, the momentum of these sellers are increasing. So we see from here, we go from like, a volume of 83 all the way to 2000 and that is a very very bearish feel right so at this point we see that it's broken through this four five three two four five three three level and we notice that all these buyers got taken out by this huge volume sell you might want to consider a short because of how aggressive that was there's also other great examples to continue learning about book maps such as their youtube channel discord and more I'll link to those in the summary. The community is really strong, so feel free to ask below in the comments, or if you have any other resources, feel free to throw them out. Thanks for tuning in, and if you wanna get started trading, I also have some affiliate links in below where you can get your free stock if you sign up. These include Webull and Robinhood, as well as some others that I feel are really good examples to help traders get started. Appreciate the support, and until next time, stay hungry.